Shall the Town of Hampton vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $85,000 for the geotechnical investigation and preliminary design for the reconstruction and or replacement of the seawall located at Bicentennial Park and temporary repairs during the preliminary design phase. This shall be a non-lapsing appropriation per RSA 32-7, Roman 6, and shall not lapse until this project is completed or by March 31st. 2021, whichever is sooner. Majority vote required. Recommended by the Board of Selectmen 5-0. Recommended by the Budget Committee 13-1. to Fiscal impact note from the Finance Department. The estimated 2016 tax impact on $85,000 is 3.0 cents per thousand dollars evaluation. Is there a motion to open discussion on Article 21? Moved by Mr. Bean, seconded by Mr. Bridal. Is there someone who would like to speak to Article 21? Ms. Hale. I will keep this as brief as possible, but I would like to just pull up the slide for Article 21. Uh, very important to understand that the money being requested here is so that we can determine what is the next step to have that plan that everybody keeps asking about and how best to move forward in what is apparently and very prudently needed if you look at the pictures that are on the slide. Uh, the bicentennial wall right there is falling. It is pieces of it are crumbling. The state has done repairs to their section of the wall. Our wall sits significantly lower than theirs. Uh, we are uh, in a situation where this wall was co uh, constructed over time in different segments as part of the old Coast Guard wall and then added to and uh, added to and in some cases even added to. Uh, so basically what you're looking at here is part of this Warren article is to give us the tools and the resources that are needed to put together the accurate uh, costs that would be either associated with repairs and or reconstruction uh, in the future. So again, uh, this includes a geotechnical investigation that is expanded above and beyond anything that has been done in the past, and that is very important. Uh, there's information that is needed to be able to make the next judgment calls. It includes the survey, both uh, elevation-wise and anything that we would ever need for permitting uh, as we move forward. It would include preliminary designs so that accurate cost estimates by an engineer can be conducted. A small portion of this article uh, is also uh, set aside for any temporary repairs that we do need uh, while we were getting this work done. So I just wanted to make it very clear that what this is for, and that is all I have to say. Thank you very much. Anyone? Uh, Mr. Griffin. Yes. I would like to say this is another thing that, again, reflects the um, problem that we have with flood insurance. Um, and people think, well, maybe I'm, I'm not affected by flood insurance. Well, you are, because every, with these uh, major amounts that people are paying for flood insurance, it's reducing the values of their property, which means there's a less of a tax base and everybody's paying more. A good example of and one, this particular wall is one of the biggest complaints we receive from, um, especially from people that visit the town of Hampton, uh, tourists. They don't understand how this could be. And another example is about the problems with flood insurance that is the Dory Inn um, on the North Beach area. Their flood insurance has gone from 13,000 to I believe 92,000 and all these flood insurance amounts are going to go up 25% for the next four years. So instead of my, mine will be 5,000 next year and end up four years from now at 8,000 which is exactly what I pay for insurance. This is a major problem in Hampton and things like this need to be addressed in order for the flood insurance to be, have a possibility of being reduced in the future. Thank you Mr. Griffin. Anyone else wishing to be heard on article 21? Seeing none, Article 21 will appear on the ballot as printed.